I remember when I first came to Vegas, seeing escalators outside. I was the <laughs> most blown away. That's the thing that blew you that away. That was the thing that blew me away. This is way before any of the sphere, any stuff they got now. Yeah. And so that was a while ago. And, you know, from Tennessee, so I just haven't. Yeah. You know, escalators outside were not something I was yeah. used to seeing. It's mind was, blowing. Yeah, pretty blown away. Well, Nate, welcome back to the Encore Theater. Thank you. Um, well, I'm so excited to welcome you to check in. I feel like this has got to be the busiest and probably most exciting year of your life and career. And yeah. I'm really excited to hear a little bit more about it from you. But if you'll hear me, I always like to ask a little bit about the origins. Yeah. I know you're from Nashville. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious what it was like for you growing up there. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, not as crazy as it is now, uh, but it was, I, I've all, I love Nashville, I love Tennessee, like I, I'm, you know, born and raised there. I, I was gone for about 13 years with, with comedy and then we've been back now. And so it's, and it's now starting to really explode and it's exciting. And, you know, I moved, New York and LA were the places you kind of had to move to. And not saying you still don't, but I don't, you, I don't, you don't have to as much anymore. And comedy is really being spread out throughout the country, which is exciting. Yeah, I mean, speaking of, I know that that was one of the big headlines around this year for you is that you broke records at the Bridgestone Arena, which is in Nashville, yeah. for the most attended show of all time. Yeah. What does reaching a milestone like that feel for you? Like, how does that feel for you? Well, it was, that was pretty crazy because it's, you know, when I first started, Bridgestone got built before I started comedy, but like not so much when we had the Predators play there. And so the dream was just to play Bridgestone. I never thought about, you know, even that aspect of it. Of so, but when we started doing it, started selling tickets and we had it in the round and it just was getting to that point where it was like, looking like it could be that record. And so once it was, it was just, uh, you know, I mean, it's beyond, I think I'm, it's, it's like, it just, none of this feels like it's happening to you, to be honest. Like it just feels, yeah. it's happening to someone and I'm watching. But you made sure that it's gonna stay you because you took a chair home, right? I did take a chair. <laughs> I took one, we have one chair home, so we're trying to keep the record from being broken. So unless they come to my house, that's how I'll know it. it's a good bit when they come, when they call me and go, we need that chair back. Yeah. I'm like, Hara, who did it, you know? <laughs> that's amazing. And it isn't the only record that you've broken because you actually started this year releasing your new special on Amazon Prime, Hello World. And the title again was that you broke the record for the comedy debut on yeah. the platform. So how does it feel for you to know that that many people are tuning in to what you're doing? Uh, I mean, it's wild. It's, uh, stand-up is becoming a lot more mainstream than it ever has been. And so it shows that that is happening and it shows that like, you know, there's a lot of comics that can start now that, you know, you hopefully they can just be stand-ups and they, you know, don't have to always go have a TV show or go do all this other stuff. You can just straight up do what you do and try to be really good at stand-up. Mm -hmm. So it's rewarding to see that, that I think hopefully as it goes, stand-up will just keep getting bigger and be its own. With stand-up comics, it's like nice to be like, you can be a stand-up comic, or you can, you know, you can go do whatever you want to go do, but you, it's nice to not have to go do the other stuff. Well, I want to talk about another awesome milestone that you had very recently. You were on Saturday Night Live, you hosted. Yes. Tell me about that experience and was there any part of it that was surprising or interesting for you? It's, you know, the best, the best thing they said was Steve Higgins, who's worked on Saturday Night Live on the show forever, told me, he goes, it's, it's what you think show business is going to be when you get into show business. And they really warm you up to the weekend. I mean, Mon you get there, Mon Monday is like you go in at like 5 p.m. and you meet the writers and Lauren, and then Tuesday's a little longer, and Wednesday, and it just gradually gets longer to then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, obviously you're there just kind of all day. And, but the excitement of it, I mean, coming from live performances, it's the most fun I've ever had. Yeah. So Saturday Night Live, they want you to do good. They're, you know, they're not trying to make you look bad. They're trying to, they really write the show around the host. And right. it's, it's so fun. It's a wild ride. I mean, when you're done, you're, you're like, you don't know <laughs> what happened. You're just, yeah. you're done. Yeah. 
As you were kind of saying, Vegas is such a capital for entertainment. So what do you think it means to be a comedian and have a residency here? Uh, it means a lot. I mean, because it's, you know, I was even thinking of it last night. The great thing about coming to Vegas is it's, it's just a different audience every time, uh, which is great. And you can come here three times a year or whatever it is which is something that you can't really do. Usually you, you're 18 months to two years between kind of going to cities because mm -hmm. you got to build a new hour. And so what, what is great with Vegas is you just have some consistency. And so coming here, this is like an awesome theater. And these are, you know, these are kind of wonderful settings for, uh, they're very intimate. So it sounds like you're very familiar with Vegas now. You come here to the win all the time. So what is your kind of perfect Vegas itinerary when you come? Uh, I'm a big golfer. Mm -hmm. So uh, having the golf course here, you know, it's, I know I'm, you know, talking on this, but it's, it is the, the, my favorite hotel. Mm -hmm. uh, it was before I even got asked to come here. Yeah. I like walking too. And so you can walk, I mean, just forever. Yeah. Indoors, at, whether it's cold out or it's hot, like it's, I remember when I first came to Vegas, seeing escalators outside was like, I was the <laughs> most blown away. That's the thing that blew you that away. That was the thing that blew me away. This is way before any of the sphere, any stuff they got now. Yeah. Escalators outside was like, I could not believe I was seeing that. Yeah. You know, escalators outside were not something I was yeah. used to seeing. It's mind blowing. Was, yeah, pretty blown away. You have some favorite restaurants here at Wynn as well, right? Yeah, Lakeside. Lakeside's a big one. Uh, I, we go down there, it's, you know, you got the water, you got, it's just a nice setting. And the great thing with the Wynn is you can go get food that is the crazier type of food, but I'm also not the most, I like very normal food too. <laughs> and that's, uh, room service is nice to The me. normal stuff. It's normal. It's like you're getting a burger and fries, you're like, it's a burger and fries, which is great. And it's not something that's like, I don't know what this this burger, I don't know what this burger is talking about. <laughs> you're like, I don't need the gold or whatever. Yeah, yeah whatever, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just would like it. Let's keep it pretty simple. <laughs> It's been so awesome to have you here, Nate. Um, I actually have something for you. I have a surprise oh, for you. Thanks. A gift. Here it comes. Oh gosh, oh, here it is. This awesome. is for you. Thank you very much. I don't know if you'd like to open it on yeah. camera. It's some fun we, stuff. Yeah, we, we, we can. I'd like to see that live it. reaction. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Is this it, is a test, actually. Is it, uh, yeah, I'll set it down. This. It's all just paper. Yeah, it's that's it. It's not anything. <laughs> uh, I'll open it. Oh, wow. Yeah. We got a wow. custom wind frame. That's One of unbelievable. Your performances here. Look at that frame. Look at that. It's always funny receiving Just a gift like of Vegas. yourself, right? You're like, well, oh, look at me. <laughs> But it's 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 very welcoming. Of course, yeah. And that's what is very nice to get a nice, uh, you know. Yeah, to commemorate. Feel the like you belong. <laughs> yes. That's what the wind does. Absolutely. And there's yeah. still more. There's okay. still more in there. I'll hold this one oh, for yeah, you. Thanks. Uh, all right. Oh, nice. Uh, a bathrobe. A hotel bathrobe. Hotel bathrobe. A win hotel. A win hotel. Bathrobe. This is uh, yeah. Do you these have one are, of these at home yet? I don't. Yeah. But you may tell you who's going to end up wearing it more than me. My wife. I would hope so. She deserves it. She, yeah. <laughs> she's had a long, it's, it's, yeah, she's got to battle it out out there. Yeah. No, but she, uh, yeah, she, she'll wear this, I mean, the most. Yes. She, we're, yeah, giant fans of the robe, so. All day, every day yeah. at home. Yeah, so. So. Yeah, I'm glad that I get to enjoy it just <laughs> right now, because it will be taken from me the second I get home. <laughs> as you deserve. Well, we're very excited for you and thank you again for stopping by. Yeah, absolutely, in. thanks for having me. Yeah. Perfect, All right. yay. Thank y'all so very much for this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's all. Glad you enjoy. Thank you so yeah. much for taking time. Yeah, man, it's very Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah, thanks for having me.